Hi guys, it's Marietta, the Editor-in-Chief of the Consumer Action Handbook, your official guide to being an informed consumer. And today I want to talk to you a bit about how to avoid being a victim of credit card hackers. As the holiday shopping season has come around, we'll all be a bit more likely to be using our credit cards and giving them a good workout over the next few weeks. It would be a shame to find out in the midst of shopping, finding that our credit cards have been hacked. Unfortunately, credit card hacking has become a really common occurrence over the last few years. In fact, recent research has said that it's one of the crimes that Americans are most worried about. So I wanted to share a few tips with you so that you know what to do to protect yourself and take steps to protect yourself from credit card hacking. The first one is to use a credit card instead of a debit card. I know we say we're talking about credit cards here, but debit cards are used kind of interchangeably. Unfortunately, the protections that you have from a debit card aren't as strong if your credit card, if the card is lost or stolen or hacked. So really think about just using a credit card. Also, if you use a debit card, someone could wipe out not just your account, but actual money that's connected to the debit card, the bank account or the checking account that is used to make withdrawals from a debit card. So you want to make certain that you're protecting not just that card, but think about long term your actual bank account and all the money that's in it. So one, don't use your debit card, use your credit card. Two, make certain when you're online shopping for the best deals that you're using a secured internet connection. Um, it's really easy to use um, free public Wi-Fi at bookstores, at airports, train stations, things like that. But you don't know how those um, connections are secured, if they're secured, who has access to them. And in the information you share, a bank account or a credit card number is hacked, you have no real recourse if someone has stolen um, access to that um, connection. So you really just want to do your best to protect yourself from that happening by just not using your credit card over those sorts of connections. And finally, really be smart about looking at your statements, checking them on a really regular basis, particularly during this holiday shopping season, making certain that no fraudulent charges have been placed in your card, and if they have been, definitely contact your credit card issuer immediately. And they have the power, thankfully, to remove fraudulent charges so that you can contest them, or to issue you a new card if it seems that your card has been stolen or hacked. Um, we don't want you to feel like you have to look over your shoulder everywhere you go while you're shopping during this season, but definitely I want to give you some tips and some ways to, pre to prevent sorts of frauds like these so that you can avoid some headaches down the road. In the meantime, I wish you the best with your holiday shopping. Hope you get some good deals. And if you have other consumer questions I'd love to hear from you, you can email me at askmarietta at gsa.gov or you can tweet me using the hashtag AskMarietta. Thank you.